Yet the James Webb has huge solar panels and a sunshield to protect its delicate instruments that's five layers thick. It's all very bulky. So how do you squeeze something as large as this into a rocket with a carry capacity the size of a school bus? The answer is origami. The creator of this miniature theme park is Dr. Robert Lang. And surprisingly, his origami skills have been invaluable to NASA's space programme. Because the Japanese art of origami lets you turn something very large into something very small. This is the pattern that I just folded. It's called a Miura Ori, and it was discovered by Koryo Miura, a Japanese engineer working in the Japanese space program. He was studying the way thin plates buckle under stress, and that led him to discover this fold pattern. And he explored it and found it had a really nice property. It opens and closes with all of the folds happening together because they're mechanically linked then you would only need to bend a single fold to make the entire structure open and close. So when you open one fold, all the other folds follow and right. you flatten out. So if this were a solar array in space, you'd only need to put one solenoid or, or mechanical mechanism, mechanism on, yes. one fold, and that fold would be enough to make the whole thing open up. Robert offers to show me how to make something the size of a solar panel fit into a small payload bay. The sheet is nine square metres and its transformation will involve 72 separate folds. Robert pre-creases the folds to increase accuracy and flexibility. Wow, performing the spiral. Yep. Origami may be Japanese, but I never expected it to be a martial art. It certainly needs one or two ninja moves. All right. So you've taken that huge piece of paper and reduced it to this. That's right. So if this had been a solar array, We've taken it down to the size it could go into a rocket. It goes up in space, opens up, and then it's ready to deploy back to its original flat state. We've gone down by just about a factor of 100, about 10 in each linear dimension. And of course, we got that by going from completely flat to a vertical tube like this. Yes, but much easier to stow in a rocket. Exactly. Robert's creation is clever enough, but the real revelation comes with its opening. Although the design appears complex, because it was folded along one axis, the whole sun shield can be opened with a single motor. This animation shows how, in 1995, Japanese scientists used the same trick to fold a large solar panel on a satellite called the Space Flight Unit. It's the brilliant application of 17th century Japanese art to a very modern Western technology.